In this video I will show you how you can sideload ebooks to your Kobo e-reader. This is a Kobo Clara 2e but this works with almost all Kobo e-readers I think. But unfortunately Kobo e-readers can't transfer ebooks wirelessly so you need to use a cable for that. On our Amazon Kindle ebook reader you can transfer sideload ebooks wirelessly but on a Kobo you can't. So in this video I will show you how you do that with a cable. I will show you two ways, one without Calibre book library software and one with Calibre book library software. So let's start by plugging this USB-C cable into this Kobo Clara 2e. To do that in the best way you need to wake up the Kobo Clara 2e or another ebook reader from Kobo before you plug in the cable to a computer. The other end of this cable is into my Mac Mini M1. So I plug this USB-C cable into this Kobo Clara 2e. Then you get this question and here you should always choose connect if you want to sideload ebooks connect if you choose cancel there then you're only charging your kobo air reader but now we have connected this to my computer and to show you that i will now switch to my desktop cam here we have my desktop and from here we go into finder and we have finder here and as you can see here now we have a Kobo air reader here so if I open that in a new tab on my Mac mini you see the storage on my Kobo Clara 2e as you can see here, I have some information from Calibre because I sync this device with Calibre. And I have one book transfer to this Kobo reader, Frankenstein, as you can see there. So this is a way to see the files on your Kobo reader that you have sideloaded already. So if I now want to transfer an ebook to my Kobo e reader you go to the folder where you have that book as you can see here I have a, a Brandon Sanderson book here so if I just take that and drag it to the co-reader folder like so now as you can see I have that on my Kobo e reader that is how easy it is to transfer files from your computer. Just drag the ebook file from another folder to the folder on your Kobo e reader. To see this book now on the Kobo e reader, you need to disconnect it first, like this. I click on that and now it will be disconnected hopefully like so now if we go back to my table cam and now disconnect the cable from your Kobe reader please note that you need to do that first on your computer as I did so now it import that book that I transfer to this Kobo e reader. Here you already see the Frankenstein book I already show you that I had. But if I now go to my books, we will find the Shadow of Self from Brandon Sanders. So that is how easy it is to sideload an ebook from your computer to your Kobo e-reader. So 
Now we will show you the other way, and that is by using Calibre. So once again, wake up your Cowboy Reader and then plug in the USB cable into this ebook reader and now choose connect. Now the ebook reader is connected and meanwhile we go to my desktop cam and open up Calibre. So now we have Calibre here and as you see at the top here you don't see any device yet but now you see you have now connected automatically to your Kobo Air Reader you have that here so if I click on this we have all the files that is on the Kobo Air Reader you can see them here in Calibre and the one we have transferred using Calibre is the book Frankenstein as you see there that is the book I have transferred using Calibre and that's why it shows uh, an icon here that is transferred from Calibre to my ebook reader from Kobo and uh, you also have uh, a problem with Kobo readers if you have recently done an update of the operating system of your Kobo and Calibre has hasn't updated yet then the library is not compatible with Calibre so you can't do edits like for example uh, delete a book for example if I want to delete this book uh, remove this book you see the Kobo database version unsupported. See details. So if I show the details here, you see an error message that uh, the Kobo firmware is newer than the Caliber software. So the Caliber software needs to be updated to support the latest firmware update from the Kobo Air Reader. So that is quite unfortunate, but you can still transfer books actually to this library by just drag and drop into this window too. Uh, now I can't <laughs> delete it like I did before, but uh, if I go into Finder again and then go to the Kobo e-reader, I can delete that book from here if I want, but I don't want that for this video. Uh, but here we have all the books that are on my Kobo Clara 2e. So now if I want to add a book, I can just do the same as before. I can drag and drop from uh, another folder and so on. So uh, for example, I can drag from this folder the same book is not necessary, but uh, you know what I mean. I can drag and drop it here. Now it will be added, but I already have it added. So it will not be added. Or you can go to your library like this and choose a book. For example, uh, the network effect and select send to device now it will be sent to the Kobo air reader but I don't want to do that just yet because it's, as you see here the formats that you have uh, for this book is EPUB and original EPUB I want to have this book converted to KeyPub KeyPub that is the Kobo air reader EPUB format so before transfer this book to my Kobo reader, I need to convert it. And if I click convert here, I can select the output format to KPUB. And uh, to install the KPUB format and other formats, you need to install different plugins in Caliber. And I have videos on my channel showing you how you can do that. So please subscribe to my channel and see all the videos about caliber and ebook readers and so on so 
Uh, I will not show you how to install the Keypub uh, plugin in this video, but I have videos on my channel, as I said, to do that. So I choose Keypub and click OK. Now it works, as you see there. We we'll convert this, and as you see now, I have the Keypub format. And the Keypub format is much, much better to be used with uh, Kobo e-readers than original EPUB because it uh, have more features and better display of pages and uh, how long you have read and how much is left of the book and much much more. So the Keypub format is much better. And so now I can send this to the Kobo e-reader by clicking on this small icon and send specific format to the main memory of my ebook reader. Here you can choose which format and I want to transfer the keypub format. I select that and no other and click OK. And you get this error message again, but it has actually transferred this to the ebook reader as you can see here main and that error message you will have until caliber updates the software but uh, it has now transferred to my device and uh, you can see that by clicking here you see the network effect book is transferred to the device but same here, you need to disconnect the device before it will actually be added to your device. So go up here, click on a small arrow and eject the device. And now we go back to my camera, my table cam, like this, and disconnect the cable. Now we have to wait for the book to be transferred and added to the Kobo e-reader. Be patient, just wait until you see it starts to add the book and the metadata and so on. Like so, so fast. So if we go now to my different books as you can see it has added a network effect and as you can clearly see it's as the format Kobo EPUB and as you can see the Frankenstein book I have already transferred also I have the Kobo EPUB keypub format the keypub format shows like Kobo EPUB and the books that are transferred directly from the folder on my computer to the device, as I show you first, is just normal EPUB. And that is not as good as KeyPub, so I prefer converting all my books to KeyPub format first before transfer them to a Kobo e-reader. So, if we open now the network effect or the shadow of self, uh, let's see the network effect book. We go here and we can skip to um, the a chapter directly like this, chapter six, for example. And this is how this book looks like when reading on my Kobo Clara 2e and of course you can do a lot of settings but I have other videos showing that you can choose fonts and so on uh, so that is how easy it is to add books sideload books to a Kobo e-reader in two different ways and I prefer using Calibre because then I can convert the files to Keypub first so Please like this video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, bye.